So this is Jerisha Walker. She turned 18 in July, and she spent the last 13 years of her life in the foster care system in Oklahoma. For the first time, she's going to be deciding where she wants to live, who she wants to be with, and what she wants to do. This is her street, and this is where she works. A lot of the kids just aren't really ready. Um, they're 17, 18, 19 years old, and they've never had any structure uh, uh, to speak of in most cases. And here we're saying, now you're in, you're in charge of your life, and we expect you to go to school. We expect you to go to work. Uh, That's a lot. We'd like for you to keep your apartment clean. Um, and with that, there's some that just can't. Um, they try for a while, and then they just go, I just can't do it. This is Jim Walker. He's the executive director of the Youth Services of Tulsa, and he's been working with kids like Teresha for over 35 years. So it's safe to say he knows what he's talking about. He's one of the pioneers of the Transitional Living Program, which helps kids adjust to adult life when they age out of the system. Today is my 18th birthday. And I age out of DHS today. So here's the situation. In Jerisha Walker's 13 years in the foster care system, she's been in 26 different homes, a couple of group homes, and some shelters too. Of all of those homes, two were somewhere that she would consider good experiences. And of those two, only one of them is somewhere that she would consider being adopted. It was the Woodson family, and she lived with them for about six months when she was 14 years old. They were just those kind of people. They just, I don't, and I guess it's, I like them so much because they had so many kids. But like, they were for them to have so many kids. They had time for everybody. Like I was telling you before, they seemed to have time for everybody, or at least time to talk to everybody to find out how everybody's day was going. So that was it. One example of what adult life should look like. And then, when she was seventeen and a half she started to live on her own. The program accepts girls at 17 and boys when they're 18. I've been in foster care all my life. For one. I've never had to live alone, never had to be the only person around to talk to. Like, there's nobody to talk to, just was by myself. And then there was the, do I want to do the right thing or do I want to do the wrong thing? And I guess when you move on your own, it's different because you have your own rules because you don't have to, there's nobody for you to listen to, so there's, teenagers like to break rules. I really don't have any rules to break because I lived on my own and like I made my own rules, so. It was basically, it was no fun. I have anybody to rebel against. <laughs> I didn't. Jerisha is nonchalant about the abuse she's lived through and the broken homes she came from. That makes sense, though. It's all she's known. And as Jim Walker puts it, kids are resilient. I've heard almost everyone I've ever worked with at one time say, I don't know that my kids would have this level of, of resilience, this ability to get up and keep going. And uh, what we try and remember is that their perspectives may be stilted uh, because their life experience has been. But if they can still stand up and be, be there and talk with you and interact, uh, that is a incredible feat. It's this ability that they have that they still get up and they still not all of them, but most of them still get up thinking tomorrow, today can be a good day. Over the next few months, we're going to follow Jerisha through the challenges she faces in her transition into adulthood. She has some support. The Youth Services of Tulsa has a transitional living program. They help her with an apartment, 
and they require her to have a job. And they do other stuff too. But for the most part, now that she's 18, Jerisha will have to decide how she wants the next chapter to begin. Step one, get a GED 